I do see a couple interesting mugs like the moose from Glacier National Park. I mean, come on, it's a moose butt. <laughs> like who, who doesn't love a moose with a moose butt? This just happened guys these poor babies were left out in a backyard in the rain look at these oh you can't even see them it's too dark it's too dark look so we are on operation guinea pig rescue right now i'm getting a second cage set up to get these guys settled in they're so stressed out these poor things well i think if I know my guinea pig parts, it's three girls. And let's just hope there was not a boy somewhere and that we stick with just three girls. I'm almost thinking like this one and this one possibly could be the offspring of that one because this one's older and these ones are younger. But I don't know. I mean, it's a mystery, but you know what? They seem to be very happy in here so far. They're scooching around and they're exploring and this makes me very happy and they've already been eating and munching. Oh, this makes my heart just feel so much better that they're gonna be safe in that. Cause it's raining, it's raining and we had these really high winds last night and they were, they were outside in that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, little piggers. Oh, it's gonna be a very noisy hallway now because my other piggies, let me pan you over. Other piggies live right over there. And these new guys are gonna live right here. So I'm very, very happy that I had two cages and uh, we could keep everybody separate and uh, all is right with the world. Today was a really rough day. Mm -hmm. Caught some of that on video. <laughs> you were going to my Friday live. Um, so I just, I wanted to say that and then say it's super important when you have a rough day, when things just make you want to cry uncle, <laughs> just give up, do something for yourself. Do It's okay. Be selfish. I did. I went and got my little nailsies done. I was going to go get my hair cut too, but they couldn't get me in. So I think I might go do that tomorrow, but I feel better. It doesn't take away everything that happened in the day, of course, but I can put it into perspective. I can say it's just a thing. It happened. I figured out a way around it. It wasn't perfect, but I have to let go the fact that it wasn't perfect. And so often we want to hold on to that I want it to be perfect. I want it to all go right. And no matter what we do, it just ain't going to happen. Now, the other thing I do to make myself feel better, I go to Goodwill, which is where I'm at now. I, I mean, and I have been on the road the last two weekends, so I haven't been to my little home base Goodwill for a couple of weeks. So to me, it's always exciting to get in there and see how they restock the shelves and everything's fresh and new and Let's go see what treasures, and I'm still in picky mode. I'm still in picky mode. Let's see how I do. Let's go get shop done. All right, let's get in here and go find, let's go find our lucky cart. Let's see, I like to get a cart that hasn't been used yet for a while. Pull one out here. And uh, purple, purple is the color. Let's go. Yeah, first section is of course the Halloween. That's, ah, you put your candle in there. All right, all right. I think I'm gonna be bringing Noah shopping here. I don't know, here or one of the Goodwills because he gets to dress up in a costume for the week of Halloween at his work, so. He wants to be, I think he said, a wizard. 
So, but I, I gotta let him come and pick that out. Like, there's no way I can pick out a costume for my boy now. He is, he's a little on the picky side, so, which is okay, it's okay. I love when he comes to Goodwill with me, so I'll take it. So we're gonna be doing that soon, that'll be fun. All right, I really don't see anything grabbing my attention in the Halloween today. Oh, I see a piece of art. I am the kind of digging. It's big though, oh my goodness. It was a really, really, really large. Looks like a water buffalo. It's on canvas, it's a print. It's a Kirkland's. It was $100 down to 70. And Goodwill has it for $14.99. Now I have to decide, do I want it for $14.99? You know what, I think I'm gonna pass on him. All right, let's look in the lamps to see. I'm seeing a lot of owl lamps. This one is really broken. Ooh, that's interesting. With this little full string. I kind of like that. I think it's vintage too. It's got that underwriter's lab. That's a, that's like stone. Hmm, how much are you? You are $5.99. I think I'm gonna grab that one. Right next to it was this pirate ship lamp. It's really chintzy plastic though. Sadly, it's a Circo, which I think was a Target brand. It's $12.99, we're gonna leave that one. I'm gonna look over here though and see if there's maybe a shade that would work well for this little stone lamp, because that's what they do. They take the shades off and sell them separately. So I was just trying to figure out which shade went with this. I'm suspecting maybe it was this one. Ooh, that will work. The shade goes on a light bulb. Like so, I'm pretty sure that's the shade. That's the shade. Oh, it's got a little, no, that's the sticker. Oh, good, that's just the sticker. <clears throat> yep, $3.99, we're getting that shade too. Well, that's cool. I got a lamp with its actual shade. Always feels good, this is, oh, that's just rolling around there. That is not a Sensi. I don't think this one is either. Nope. This one is. See the difference? But missing its top. Now this one, this one has its top, but this one also is not a Scentsy. So there we go. Oh, there's one more. Let's see if this one is. That one's a Scentsy. This is the Live Simply, but they want nine, I mean, they want $10 for it. It's $9.99. So we're going to leave that one. I just found a big bird cage and two storage tubs with lids that I grabbed and had to go take up front. And when I took them up front, I passed by a cart that they were putting out and I found this guy here. Oh my gosh, he's a pure one. He is 10 bucks, but oh my gosh, <laughs> he's amazing. And he is chip free and I love him so very much. So we're gonna grab him. So found this single cactus candle holder. And I'm hoping I can find some more, but if I can't, I'll still take this single one for $2.99. Just glancing over here in the clocks, I came across this guy. He is so 70s. It says Elgin down there. Now the clock part itself may not work, but how easy are those to replace? And he's only $9.99. So this guy is coming with me. Skimming through the bathroom stuff. I kind of started at the back of the store this time at the art. So I'm just kind of looking back here real quick. These are great for if you get um, like one of those um, spheres or orbs, I guess we call them. This one's a little tall, which would make me think it's a little bit on the unstable side. So I'm not gonna grab that one. But I'm gonna take a peek at Mod Doge, Dogu. It's a do not disturb pillow with some little, it's for photos. It is Disney, 2000 Disney. It's an accessory. Hmm. I'm gonna leave it. All right, I spotted this little set. Who makes this? This is 
made in Taiwan, so it is vintage. It doesn't have like a maker name. And it's not, you know, super exciting. So I'm gonna leave that, <clears throat> I'm gonna leave that one. Cookies, is that a Mrs. like a Mrs. It looks like the Mrs. Fields cookie font logo. I guess it could be. Little things, you know, just not super spectacular that I will leave behind. But take a peek at, this is signed very, very faintly on there. Can't see it. Oh, this has a chip, but let's see. Nope, nothing special, nothing special. Got a piece of art pottery signed. Let's see what this is under here. What are you? Nice little trivet, HD designs. Nope. Nothing too special. Oh, look at this piece. Wowza. That is a very, very large, probably is mid-century. My goodness. I know that sounds like I'm clunking it. Trust me, it's just loud on the camera. I'm very careful. Now, I can tell this is not a quality piece. There's like air pocket bubbles in it. Okay, that makes me feel better about not grabbing it. And we got a little, a little owl for 69 cents. Yeah, I love this stuff because, you know, in my live sales, I give stuff like this away all the time. And then this is something I spotted. Um, these scripture pieces sell for really good money on eBay. People love this stuff in their home. And uh, this one's $3.99, so I'm gonna pick up the napkin holder. So you notice I kind of set this piece aside and then I looked up here and here's his friend. So we'll put those together. That looks like an old jar, but it's not. It says 2015 on it. Don't know who makes that one. That looks like a vintage jar, but nothing that I'm super enamored by. But this, on the other hand, this biscuit jar. It's only $3.99, but there's why. We have a big, big crack made in Japan. Yeah, it is a vintage. I mean, I'm sure it's still worth that, but I'm gonna leave it. Look at these light. Oh, they're not glass, they're plastic. You know what, if those were glass, I was probably gonna pick them up, but they are not. All right. I'm trying to resist these big giant pieces. I'm not even going to tempt myself by looking at the big giant trays and things. I expected that to be heavy based on the thickness and it's not. It's super light. All right, nothing up here. Too bad this is all chipped up. Gotta leave something like that. Oh, Noah's Ark. Salt and pepper shakers. A little rough on the edges there. Mm, I think we're gonna leave them because they're just a little rough on the edges. This is an interesting piece. I think it's supposed to be a like a state, United States map, like a little serving dish. For $2.99. Actually, it's a dollar fifty because that color is the color of the day, if I remember right. It was purple, right? It's kind of cool. But you know what, I'm gonna leave it. I am going to leave it. And I'm, I'm gonna leave, you know, somebody's used sucker too. On the shelf behind me, spotting a couple things that look somewhat interesting. You know, like the, <laughs> the folk artsy chickens. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look who does those. They are, um, I don't know. I don't know who makes those. <laughs> those are pretty funny though. No, I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna leave them. Coal. Stocking coal. All right. Ooh, look, we got a little ironwood pelican for $2.99. I think I will pick him. Oop! <laughs> there we go. I think I will pick him up though. All right, we got all their pet supplies. We've got, oh, that's like a Yankee candle. 
um, topper, but it is cracked. I mean, it's crackled, but it's also crack cracked on top of being crackled. Crackled is intentional, cracked is not so great. All right, look through, oh, is that Butterfly Meadows? Is it? Is it? No, it's not. It's Nature Garden Society. All right, it fooled me. It fooled me. Would have picked them up if they were Lennox um, Butterfly Meadows. Because that pattern sells really good. All right, we are now over in the drinking glasses. And nothing is really calling to me over here today. Goodness. You know, I think I might even leave the one little lone black stemmed glass. Normally I pick those up, but I'm gonna leave it today. I am looking at these. Those are a little interesting, but yeah, I'm not gonna do it today. I'm gonna be good. Are these glass? <gasps> they are glass. Almost didn't expect those to be glass. They're a dollar each. They're really fun. I mean, it's the kind of thing that if I couldn't sell it, I would do something with those. Because I love those. So, at a dollar each, we're going to go ahead and pick those up and do something with them. All right. You know, the squeaky toy is a little bit annoying, but in a way it's kind of nice because it's uh, fooling the YouTube bots with the uh, music going in the background. <laughs> so, <gasps> these are intriguing. Um, look at these. There's a pair and they're, I mean, they're not, they're not very good quality. I'm going to say they're just, they're kind of cool though. Kind of like kind of like the color of these too they're almost like an alexandrite coloring hmm and then these i think i think these are a crate and barrel if i'm not mistaken they came in a set of four originally but i can leave those today too i do see a couple interesting mugs like the moose from glacier national park I mean, come on, it's a moose butt. <laughs> like, who, who doesn't love a moose with a moose butt? Um, I don't know, that one's, that one's pulling to me. I think I'm gonna grab it. Right next to it was the sea otter. That is a Judy E. Rideau? Rideau? For 69 cents, it does need a little TLC with the barkeeper's friend. Oh, Judy right out and <laughs> there it is it's a 1994 I think I will grab that one all right let's just take a peek I know it just seems like I'm not being very picky but mugs are one of the easiest easiest things to sell and um, while they're not super high profit they're super easy to sell and then I have to factor that in there too there's you know there's not a lot of research and and they're easy to wrap and and they make great gifts and so people buy them for gifts people buy them for themselves i mean come on you tell me right now somebody's not going to want this life is hard mug with the cat on it and it's a dollar 99. all right let's see what other goodies we've got over here looks like we're oh i almost thought that was turtles for a minute but it's a little frog here's a little frog I think the flowers come with it, but I don't need the flowers. I really don't need the ribbon either. I do need I do need the little frog though. Do I wanna keep, oh no, that's priced separate. Okay, somebody probably was just testing that out. So we are gonna get the little froggy for a buck 99. This piece is a little bit eye-catching. It's heavy, oh my goodness. What does that say? Hmm. Can't quite make that out. It is a hobbyist piece. Oh, there's, look, it's a matching set. Look at that. Very nice. Oh, that was my basket settling. This is an interesting wall pocket. $1.99. I kind of like that. 
for a dollar ninety nine. And I'm gonna take a peek at this little piece, but it's very chintzy. This is another hobbyist piece. Nah, yeah, I'm gonna lay you back down because you're a little wobbly. And let's just move along now. Oh, hello, little fella, with the little chipped ears. Yeah, you are. You're not very high quality, but somebody will love you. I tend to pick these up. I don't know why I pick these up. I pick them up all the time. I'm not gonna pick this one up. I'm gonna. I'm gonna resist today. I don't need that one right now. It's an interesting piece of, I think, like 80s pottery. And clear vases galore with nothing that I can't live without. You know, I always cruise through the plastics and I tend to not show them too much, but just to show you that I do look. I look at everything but no Tupperware or anything very interesting today. All right, I rounded the corner and I got a pair of fleur-de-lis um, bookends by CBK Limited, 1998 for $5.99. But you know what? It's, it's not, it just doesn't super excite me. So I'll leave those for somebody else. Let's see if I can find something that's a little more up my alley. You know, kind of like this um, kind of, I guess I call it like pie tin primitive stuff isn't really my thing either. There's a pair of them and they're cute, but not my thing. It's not my thing. But I am looking through these metals, still looking for my little holder for my anchor hawking chip and dip set. And I think Tiffany's looking for one also. Tiffany is thrifting Vegas. So I think we're both on that quest to find that holder. We'll find one, it'll show up. All right, these are kind of interesting. Isn't that like the symbol for like the United Nations? They're a buck 99 each. I don't think I'm gonna grab them, but. They were interesting. All right, now we're over in the wood section and I find this little triptych, which is one of these little folding, oh, it's got some age on it too. $1.99, look at that. Just a little tiny bit of damage to the picture, but it's in really good shape. I'm gonna grab that. And then there's this guy who is carved from a piece of wood and painted with a deer on there. And he's purple, so he's only $2.50. I will take you. Alrighty, I did I did peek at the little milk can kind of looking thing. It says Dorothea, Dorothy Barr, McPherson, 75. Yeah, it's just, it's okay for me. I, you know, it's just, again, it's not really this anything super exciting for me, so I would have trouble getting it listed just because I wouldn't have the motivation. These, on their other hand, are pretty stinking cool. They are $1.99 each, but to have a matching set, I love it. I'm grabbing them. Give me a C. All right, little fish, what are you doing over here? Because you really don't belong over here. But hopefully, somebody will find him here and take him home and love him. Let's see what else we got in the little wood aisle. Ooh. We got, give me a K, give me another C. Wise men still seek him, yes they do. And women. What do we got here? We got some tiles. These are not very good quality. Not, not great quality. This is interesting. With the little, it's got cubbies. Why does it have cubbies? don't understand what are you you're always oh, a charging station how is that a charging station what do you put how is it a charging station oh I guess you put just to hide the plug inside there and what do you I don't get it maybe stick your phone I don't get it I don't have enough devices to charge to warrant that anyway so all right there we go 
All right, and here's all the clear. Oh, got a little spun glass carousel. Actually, it's in really good shape. For $2.99, I'm gonna grab that because I have some other ones that I need to sell too. Let's see what else. We got a jazz guy here. Got a mermaid. We got a canum. What's a canum? That probably came from like the Luxor. Yeah, I see that. It's vintage, but it's it's pretty broken. These are cool. Probably made at like Target, not made at, made for Target or Walmart. Kind of cheap. Little, little turkey trivets made in Japan. $1.50 for two of them. Yes, please. Right. She's no name brand or anything, but I'm kind of loving her. The little ballerina bunny. I mean, she's kind of huge too. Look at her. She sits on that shelf and she's only $3.99 and she's coming home with me. Gosh darn, I need to look a little closer. She is missing an arm. So she's a one-armed ballerina bunny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. No, somebody will somebody will come along and love you. I know they will. Let me see what this thing is that you are sitting on. See, rejoice in the Lord always. You just keep that sitting right next to you. Remind you. This is some sand art. Ooh, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. I like it for $1.99. Right behind it was another one, a bigger one for $2.99. So I'm gonna grab that one too. A little December dolly. The monkey candle holder is kind of cool, but again, he's not, he's just not really my, my taste. That's interesting. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna leave that one. Doesn't super excite me. Little piggy. Irish setter. Who makes you? Oh, Hundeplatte. Ah, uh, $5.99 though. I go and walk and pray. What are you? Oh. Are you? No. I thought maybe it was enamel and copper for a minute. It is not. <gasps> we got some mushrooms though with little crystals. We're gonna pick those up. They're a dollar ninety-nine and a dollar forty-nine for the little mushrooms. All right, this is really an unusual. Um, it's super heavy too, as you can imagine. Those are all rocks. It's a little photo album. Kind of cool, but I'm not getting it. I am gonna look at this fish. Three ninety-nine. Oh, he's broken. Very, very, very broken. And this is the base to like a, a hen on a nest or something. So hopefully the little piece isn't wandering around here without its base. I'll keep an eye out for it. Here is another one of these bunnies. This one's $4.99. I don't like this one as much. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bunny. I don't mean to hurt your feelings. You're just not as exciting to me. Yeah, a bunch of little dolls. Oh, I like this little guy. Oh, he's on a spring. Oh, he's got a broken hand. Darn. So much broken stuff this time. All right, this is the little bit of Christmas that they have and there's really nothing exciting here. I do see this little girl. Let's check you out. Oh, your neck has been broken. That's a shame. She's a little planter by Imperial Masterpiece. Very vintage, but very broken. Very broken. Kind of looking. Little happy birthday candle. What are you, a little special beaded spoon from South Africa for $2.99? We're gonna leave you. Oh, let's see. Oh, we got some toucan. Oh, look at these. Toucan lights. Boy, that's a very specialized, you gotta have the, the right thing. But you know what? Dining room, east wall. How much are these? 2 dollars 
and two nine to nine. You know what? I I like those. I'm gonna pick those up. I know this sounds weird, but I am gonna pick up this piece of slate for three ninety nine because if you have a sculpture or something, it just can make it look so much more expensive. And you know what? I think I see another one under here. Look at the and this one's a dollar ninety nine. So you know what they usually do? They'll usually adjust and give me the, the lower price. So we're gonna see if they'll do that. But either way, I'm buying those. Don't ever forget to look underneath. Oh my goodness, come here, pretty. You are $9.99. Oh, look at you. Look at you. You know what? I think I'm gonna get that for $9.99. All right, we're gonna peruse the linens. See if there's anything extra special here. Uh, so far, nothing's calling my name. Eh. All right, all right. I'd like to find some soft stuff just in case they don't have a lot of paper. It's always a little bit on my mind. I got tablecloth. I think I got plenty of tablecloths right now to stock the booth. So, let's see if there's anything over here in the little end cap. Every once in a while, they'll do something like have like a Tory Burch something or other. But what is it? Is it like just a. What is it? I know it's Tory Burch, but what is it? I don't know. You know what? I'm, I'm just. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. Not gonna do it till I get caught up. I'm trying, guys. I'm, tr I'm trying to be picky. It's so hard sometimes. Socks. Sheets. Blankets. We gotta look up on top. Is that a Jimbo the Clown? Oh, look at you. Now these used to be big bucks. I haven't looked for a while. He's pretty well loved. Yep, he's a Jimboree, Jimbo the Clown. Come on, who had their kids in Jimboree? Okay, Noah's gonna hate me giving up this little secret, but he, he was a Jimboree kid. He loved, he loved the parachute, the hiding under the parachute. That was his favorite part. That is, I think that's grumpy, but I'm not, oh, he's holding a heart. That's a little, beat up. I'm sorry, Grumpy. I'm gonna leave you. All right, let's see. <gasps> Jiminy Cricket! Jiminy Cricket! For $3.99! He's not in great shape either. Darn! Look at his poor little scratched up eyes. Darn it! Darn it. I love Jiminy Cricket. I have a Jiminy Cricket sitting behind my desk. Or at least I did. No, maybe I moved him to my bedroom. Well, actually, he's packed in a box now. Um, but I think I moved him to my bedroom because you know what? He's your conscience. All right, let's see if there's any cool blankets or afghans or throws. I don't see anything calling me today. Nothing really up on the shelf either. All right, I'm walking by and this little guy is just sitting here on a little nightstand kind of a thing. Just begging to be bought by me. Is that a crack? It is a crack. Well darn. I am so sorry, little guy. Somebody who is not reselling is for sure gonna buy you. All right, we're gonna give the art just a little once over. Look for anything special that might be hiding in here. Oh, look, like you, little piggy with the little Oh, yeah, those are a little. I thought, is it a little piggy with little, little piggies? It is a little piggies. Oh, and it's $2 because it's half price. It's coming with me. This is interesting. It's a U.S. patent. With some kind of a an arrow or a, no, a dart? Is it for, or is it a weapon? No, it's a weapon. August 29th, 1978. It's $3.99. Hmm, came from Walmart, so it's nothing, nothing too special. It was interesting. I liked it. Ooh, that is slag glass. I like that for $1.50 on sale. Yes, please. And then there is a 
a flamingo that someone has drawn. I don't know. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Is this like a dog bed? A black box with red pillow. I have no idea what the purpose of that is. It's a little odd. There's a Marilyn. I think that's a painting. It's weird because it can... Selick. B. Sell it 2007. You know what? I'm going to do a real quick look up and just make sure this isn't some super valuable piece. All right. I need to be in front of a computer to really look this up, but something tells me to buy this because look, 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 look. This is old. This is not like some recent print or reprint. And it's, you know, somebody took the paper off the back to see what was going on back here, but Somerset custom framing. It's $25. You know what? I I think I'm going to take a chance on Marilyn. All right, I think we have done our damage for tonight. I feel better. I'm unwound. And my card is not overflowing, which is a great thing. Except I have some big stuff to put in the card. But I feel pretty good about this little adventure. So, heading to the checkout now. I'm now sitting in the dark. Well, there's somebody with their, this phone is, I got a new phone and it's heavy. Um, there's somebody with their lights on, which is kind of giving me all the light I need to shoot this little last little segment. So thank you, little car. All right, 
boy, do I feel better now. It's always nice to have a really good, profitable Goodwill run. Um, that Even if that Maryland turns out to be a print, from what the little bit of research I could find, it's a good print. And um, I got another cage that's worth about $150 a big parrot cage it fit in my car this time I don't know if you can see it back there kind of it's laying on its side um, someday we're gonna have our parrot and I, I know it's a little silly that I'm buying the parrot cage now but it was only $15 for you know a hundred hundred of fifty dollar parrot cage you guys who have parrots you know the prices I'm talking about and um what else oh the owl the owl clock is super cool so nice to have a local space to sell stuff like that because i mean i could ship it if i had to but i don't have to i can sell it locally which is really cool all right as usual if you saw something that you just can't live without feel free to send an email to the niche lady at gmail.com with your I need your zip code of course and your offer and you know if, you know I give the recap so you kind of know a range of what I would sell it for on eBay so that gives you you know kind of a place to start thinking about the offer you want to send me uh, I mean obviously I can't I can't sell it too much cheaper than I could get on I can I definitely can discount it from eBay price for you um, but it wouldn't make sense for me to you know do like half of eBay price. I'm sure you understand. Uh, what else do I need to say? I don't know. I'm, uh, I, I need to go home. I need to go home and do nothing else for the rest of the night. I got my nails done. I think tomorrow I'm going to go get my hair cut. Got to go do some moving over. Not so much moving. We got the moving part done. We have to do the unpacking now over at the booth because the vintage market happens next weekend the 15th 16th and 17th i think are the dates um again don't it's the third weekend it's next weekend whatever those dates are because my brain's a little loopy right now so we have to get completely set up for that we have saturday sunday and thursday that's it that's the only days we have to go get that done we can do it. We can do it. And I still have to finish moving. That's the other thing. I still have to finish moving betwixt and between all of this. So there's not too much left, but there's a little bit left, including all of my eBay inventory. So it's going to be a busy week. Going to get through it. Everything's going to be cool. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.